the Special Boxer of the Year award. Then he joined commentator Donald Garden at ringside for Kelly against Doherty. So it's Joe Kelly in the black trunks against Drew Doherty in red for the British bantamweight title. Kelly, of course, the defending champion, having beaten Ronnie Carroll in January on points to take the title. But quite a few people fancy that Drew Doherty might just be the man to take it away from him. Very exciting fight in, in front of us here tonight, Donald. Um, you've got the fighter and you've got the boxer. Little Joe, I've fought him a few times myself, and it, it won't stop coming till the last bell sounds. And uh, I think it's going to be one of those fights that will go all the distance. Tonight. Good left from Doherty. Nice hook there. I think that shoot and there, again, Joe. Well, Kelly locked in his heels there. Back in the corner, Doherty's got him pinned back there. And yes. Doherty is really putting everything into this first round. And Kelly just closes up, not even trying to fight back. Close the right, and another. Yeah, Doherty's pinned the pressure on here. He's caught some nice clean shots. And um, little Joe's taking them. And already Doherty looking to be on top. Kelly's face a little red. But Kelly took some punishment there, Joe. Yes, he took a good few shots and he's coming back again. That's typical of Reed Joe. He'll, he'll soak up all the punishment and come back with the two shots. One applause for both boxers as Drew Doherty makes his way back, sits down in his corner, and that was a very good opening round for Drew Doherty. So let's see Doherty get in with that right. That got Kelly back, and he just closed up. He catches him in the left hand here, Donald. There's a left hand here coming up to the head, he catches him. A lot of punches going in. A lot of them no catching. There the one. Arms. That was the one there, up the middle. Round two. The Joe does certainly start slow. Once again, in his his own inimitable style, he immediately goes after Doherty again. Now is Kelly. Kelly has him back against the ropes. He has just tactics. He's, he's got to get the man on the ropes so he can't run anymore and keep the, the pressure on him. Well, a lot more determination from Joe Kelly in this second round. Really stung into action by Doherty's first round performance. Yes, I think he realised here he's got a match in his hand tonight. Although uh, Drew's a few years younger and uh, not as many fights as Joe, but he knows he's up against a good opponent. What at stake for, for both fighters, not just the British bantamweight title. I think there's a European title chance at the end of this. Two to two with Doherty. Doherty comes off the ropes. Oh, a good combination of punches there from Doherty. Finished the better of the round there. It's a fantastic, oh, okay. fantastic two rounds, I think, for our British title fight. Exciting stuff. Can it go the distance at this pace? The two boys are looking in fantastic condition and hopefully for the punters it'll go to 12 rounds but honestly there's I think Kelly that's his way back into the fight though just standing there exchanging punches and Doherty did well to survive that little flurry the start of round three Doherty Winning the first round, second round perhaps slightly more evenly balanced. Yes, I would agree with that. 
Joe looks a little strong character at Banaway. I think he was finding it a little bit harder to fly with. Jefferty caught him there at the right hand. Kelly's up very quickly. Look, look to the corner. Short and sweet right hand. What a lovely right hand that was. That certainly brought the crowd to its feet. Completely oh, out of the blue. Joe will come back fighting from this. I know Joe from the amateur days and professional days. He'll come back fighting. Joe doesn't know how to defend. Joe is a straightforward fighter. Comes fighting. That's his tactics. Well, he caught Doherty with a good fight. And the left, and he goes again. Great contest. What a fantastic man of to contest this is. I mean, this is only a third round. I wouldn't like to see it in the 12th round. If it goes that far. Yes. I mean, this pace is phenomenal. Oh, I love the left hand. Oh, just slowing down, I think, here. Yeah. I think he's hurt it here in this round. Yeah, Kelly looks a little red at the face. But again, he fights his way out of the corner. I can't see this one going the distance. Joe's a tough little character, he won't give up. Again, Kelly. He's trying there, yep. Trying everything he has in his repertoire. What a fantastic contest. Good left just at the end there from Doherty. Well, a good round for Doherty. So let's see this right hand from Doherty. There's the one that caught Kelly high up in the, on the head. And then again, that really shook Kelly. So how would you score it so far? Well, I'd give it um, two rounds to Doherty and one even. Start of round four. Well done, we know now Docker has got the power to hurt Kelly, so there yeah, he's caught him again. He's caught him with the right hand again. Yeah, Kelly closes, closes down, tries to absorb it. The referee John Coyle from Wolverhampton steps in, brings him into the centre of the ring. Watson, Watson. And he's over to bring Kelly back in the corner. Kelly's left eye swollen up in the left eye. Begin to close a little bit there, Donald. I mean, we're all into halfway through the fourth round. Couple of little jabs from Doherty, and yep. again. He covers up well at the same time. There you can see the damage to Kelly's left eye. Something for the corner to work on at the end of this round. But again, he just goes after his man. It's the only style of boxing he knows, Pat. Yes, I've known Joe since I was 13 years of age, and Joe was fighting that when I met him then. But Doherty's shown so far that he can take almost everything Kelly can throw at him. Yep. Yeah, we've seen that Drew can hurt Joe, um, and uh, hopefully the fight does go all the way because um, the punters are enjoying it. But at the same time, Donald, I don't know, I don't know where it will. Could it be a test of stamina for Drew Doherty? Yes, it could be. At the same time, Joe hasn't caught Drew flush on the chin yet, so we don't know if um, uh, Drew can take uh, Joe's full punishment. So the bell to end the fourth round. Four very good rounds of boxing. It's been really entertaining for the big audience here at St Andrews Club in Glasgow. There is Kelly in the corner trying to work on that left eye. A little bit of swelling. Second down, round five. The fifth round of this British bantamweight title. Joe Kelly, the defending champion in the black trunks from Rutherglen in Glasgow. His opponent, Drew Doherty from Condorit. And only his ninth professional fight. A lot at stake. Not just the British bantamweight title, but perhaps the chance to fight Johnny Bredler of Denmark 
for the European crowd. Kelly back against the ropes, but fights his way out. Catches Doherty with a good left to the head. But again, Doherty responds, picks his man off. It's a very hard fight, this one. Very, very hard. Kelly looks to his corner. And Joe Coyle decides that that is enough. Two knockdowns by Drew Doherty in the fifth round. And Drew Doherty is the British bantamweight title holder, having beaten Joe Kelly, the defending champion. The referee stopping the contest in the fifth round after two knockdowns. And let's see the first of those two knockdowns. Lovely right hand, Doherty. left hook coming, lefty boy, left hook. Right hand, bang, there it is, right in the chin. So there is a delighted Drew Doherty at 26. The new British bantamweight.